Hello, good morning. Uh, welcome to the uh, eighth edition of Business Marketplace. And again, Business Marketplace aims to inform and inspire fellow entrepreneurs and dun sa mga gustong maghanap ng negosyo, lalong lalo na sa ngayon sa panahon ng pandemia. And this episode is in partnership with Rise Up PH. Also, gusto ko rin banggitin yung mga other partners of the show like Kain Trep. Rotary Club, Mucha ng Pasig, and Rotary PR of District 3800, and JA Philippines, and Pasig uh, uh, City, uh, Pasig Business Chamber of Commerce. Uh, thank you very much uh, sa inyong lahat, sa inyong support. Again, thank you sa Rise Up Tourism PH for uh, allowing us to get to know some of their uh, member entrepreneurs na nag-pivot ngayong panahon ng pandemya. Hindi ko na pagtatagalin, tawagin ko yung mga guests natin for today. Unahin natin si uh, uh, owner ng Think Smarter Collection. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's welcome Jok Solas. Hi Jok, you're, you're uh, please uh, unmute. There you go. Good morning Jok. Uh, thank you again for yes, the thank you for this opportunity for the Philippine business and entrepreneurs as well for the business marketplace, the rise up Philippines. Um, thank you for inviting us. And again, uh, this is probably a good opportunity for tourism sector to discuss more of what's happening on how we are pivoting and definitely probably sharing some important information and tips for resiliency. All right. So, bago kita na tanong job, tawagin natin yung uh, other guests natin. Our next guest is the owner of Mon Marie Consumer Goods Trading. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Ramon Marinas. Hi, Mon. Hi. Good morning, Sir Orly. Mabuhay po sa lahat ng mga nakikinig ng Business Marketplace and to all the entrepreneurs who will be featured on this episode. Good morning po sa inyo lahat. All right, and our uh, third guest, ito nasa ano to eh, mobile siya, no? Nasa car siya ngayon. Uh, co-founder ng Paabot, uh, is that that page or that com? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Kobe Sarian. Hi Kobe. Hello, good Paabot. morning everyone. Oh, hello, guest from Paabot PH. Good morning everyone. Thank you, Business Marketplace from Rise Up for organizing this wonderful activity. I'm sure, me personally, I'll be learning a lot from my, from you guys. So it's a wonderful opportunity talaga. Thank you so much. All right, and last but not the least, of course, ang uh, owner ng Carville Nature Farm. Medyo nasa farm yata siya ngayon. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Jay Carpio. Hello, Jay. Hi, good morning. Yes, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for the invite, and uh, I would like to thank everyone who's behind this uh, this endeavor. Thank you very much. I I'm in the farm right now. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mama, yah, padala mo kami ng uh, mga produce mo yah sa farm yah. Ne joke lang. Anyway, yes, sir. Start, <laughs> no, simula natin. Uh, kaya um, una bilang mga entrepreneurs. Um, Simula natin kay Job. Job, how are you coping up mentally and emotionally sa current situation natin? Ah, uh, okay. Basically, I'm now in Bulacan. I usually, well, I'm always in Manila. But now I have to go to, to the province, especially where my parents are. Because it's, it's more manageable, di ba? Kasi especially on the, on the crowd. Um, now, as for the businesses, particularly for the hotels, we have to close them. Uh, lalo na meron tayo mga regulations and particularly for the IATF policies that we still have to adjust. Lalo na dun sa mga natatawag natin distance, uh, social distancing and also yung mga, we still have to wait for guidelines from the DOH and even from the WHO. Kasi nasa ano tayo eh, nasa frontline in the uh, human service and uh, kailangan talaga ng most of it and not interaction. So, we also have later on. I'll be showing you some of my projects uh, that I am part of, such as from the fitness army, which is into 
fitness and wellness and also for the commercial central which is like a one town one product uh, destination in Clark Pampanga so i'm really more into people centered lalo na kung ano um, interaction so how we've been affected is that we really have to close our operations wait for the guidelines and of course we still have to attend to the employees uh, but of course we are still waiting for other let's just say assistance that we could get from the government just simply because uh, we have to attend to other concerns such as the utilities and wheels and then emotionally and psychologically uh, ako kasi oily and uh, for everybody for the audience i'm a very cheerful and positive person so as long as what I'm doing is, Chevre, uh, we try to divert to something that's creative. Uh, we maintain our connections to the industry, such as even to our DOT uh, connections, our report to the codings in the hotel industry, and even to the media. Because they have been a very significant part of promoting the country. Right? We carry the slogan of it's more fun in the Philippines. So we still try to coordinate as much as possible. Lalo na sending good messages across, not just in the Philippines, but also to the world. Lalo na ngayon with the situation of the Philippines. So, so far, um, I, I'm, oh, I'm okay. I'm with my family. That's probably one of the things that is helping us. All right. Thank you, Joe, for sharing. I'm uh, for partially emotionally, pero partially action oriented yung, uh, yung, uh, yung ginagawa. And we will uh, learn more from you. How about you, uh, Mon? Uh, nung nangyari yung pandemia, anong, personally, how, how you dealt with this kind of situations? Uh, for, for now, sa akin ngayon, sa, I used to be uh, a tour operator, that's what I do. Uh, I'm with Bienvenido Tours and I promote locations here in Antipolo in the province of Rizal. So we were caught unaware of this situation. Hindi uh, tayo prepared. Masabi nga na uh, anong gagawin natin kapag ka nagkaroon ng pandemic na katulad nito. Hindi natin inaasahan kasi nagsimula pa lang uh, way back in January, we were faced by Taal Volcano eruption. So doon pa lang, uh, malaking dagok na talaga sa industriya ng turismo. Although aware tayo na possible magkaroon ng mga natural calamities, pero yung ganitong extent na pandemic na hahabat ng ganito katagal, ito yung bagay na hindi natin inaasahan talaga lahat. So, uh, siguro for two months, uh, ano talaga, hindi ko talaga alam kung anong gagawin ko. Nanunod lang ako ng mga webinar and then iniisip ko kung yung mga pwedeng gawin. For two months, puro ganun lang muna. Naghahanap ako ng inspiration from different uh, resource persons. And then, uh, nung uh, nakakapanood ako ng Rise Up, tamang-tama, uh, malaking bagay yun sa akin para, para makapag-divert uh, ako and mag-pivot to what I'm doing now. So, yun po. Uh, for now, staying well, ayun muna importante ngayon, dapat uh, malakas tayo, healthy. And yung negosyo naman, makakabalik naman tayo doon sa dati nating negosyo. Uh, pero sa tamang panahon. Uh, sa ngayon, kung ano muna yung pwedeng gawin, doon muna tayo mag -focus. All right. Uh, gusto ko lang sigundahan yung sinabi ni Mo. No? Tama siya eh. Yung Rise Up PH Tourism nila Check, nila John, nila Harold, at saka ni Clarissa. Yan yung apat na core group niyan. Aktibo siya at saka may inspire ka kasi wala naman silang ano eh. No? Wala silang formal organization. They, because of the signs of the time, they group together and then they offer the good value to the industry. Which, kagaya mo ako on, Na-inspire mm -hmm. din ako, kaya yan, nakipag-partner tayo din dahil talaga inspiring yung grupo yan. No? Sana so, po, okay, well, April and May, April and May, puro rise up ang mga pinapanood ko, kaya malaking tulong po <laughs> sa akin. Kaya ngayon, nung nag-invite sila sa akin ngayon, sabi ko, yes, sige. Yes. Kasi it's time to give back naman, and if not for rise up, uh, siguro wala rin po ako ngayon dito. Wow, wow. sobra. For that to, para sabihin mo yan, talagang wow. You know? mm -hmm. uh, how about you, Kobe? Um, how do you dealt with the situation when this happened? Okay. So background lang, I'm a, I am have a hiking company for 10 years now, training vendors. We do hikes around the Philippines and outside the Philippines. And then aside from that, musician din ako, I play the saxophone, so I do events, gigs. So when the pandemic happened, nung una, medyo ano ka pa eh, ba? Parang, ay, okay lang yan. After a month or two, 
babalik din sa normal. But then after that, after one month, nag-iisip-isip na ako na parang wait lang. Nawala lahat. Definitely, lahat ng plano ko for this year nawala. I have plans na to do a tour in Morocco, to mga Central Asia, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, among others. We have a lot of planned hikes around the Philippines, mga foreigners going to the Philippines. At nawala lahat yun, definitely. And then for my other source of income, to be a musician, lahat din, di ba? Wala rin event, wala entertainment. So totally wala. At first, mahirap, definitely. We have to accept na parang ang sakit na na, ang dami kong plano, and then immediately, ito yung binigay sa'yo. But then, after a while, parang napag-isipan mo, well, ito yung binigay sa'yo, what do we do next? So I think yung mindset na nangyari was, okay, I'll think of ideas, ano ba pwede kong gawin, Siguro tayo kasi, alam mo, as an ent- entrepreneur, as being a creative person like you guys, gusto natin, gusto natin gumagalaw eh. Di ba? Pag tinatamad ka, pag wala kang ginagawa, mas lalo kang tatama rin. You really want to move and keep things going. And when we thought of, an, before I did, we did pa about PH, there was another business that we planned, the Greenery Park, where we sell mga fruits, vegetables, dried goods, mga, mga cocoa sugar, among others. And then, I think, more than the idea, ang importante is really, sige, gawin natin to. Let's start it, let's start it. And then along the way, we'll be learning. Um, so that's how we, how I took the pandemic. Until now, of course, may mga struggle. Hindi naman mawawala yun. But it's really about what can we do next and how do we improve ourselves to be better. Physically, uh, I think I'm more, I'm stronger now because of the pandemic. Parang... I eat more vegetables. I, alam ko na with the virus happening, you need to be stronger. So I eat more vegetables. I sleep better. I drink more water. Nag-workout ako kasi matakbo ako. So that, me being physically active, really helps me to be in shape. Not only physically, but also mentally. And then, of course, you learn from people. I attend webinars. From Rise Up is also one very, very good anchor for you to learn and be motivated. And it's a new mo sa sarili mo, uy, di ako nag-iisa. Marami, marami tayo na pare-pareho yung sitwasyon. And together, we can really, literally, rise up. So, those are some of the things. And then, until now, I'm still like, exploring myself. I would say, in terms of ano bang other businesses that I can do, do I focus more on music, um, or in, in, into the business, or among, among others. Pero ang importante, I think, is really, you know, keep, to keep on moving. And to listen to yourself, definitely. Ayan. Keep on moving. Be healthy. Uh, thank you for sharing that, Kobe. Of course, you know, straight from the farm. No? Uh, let's welcome uh, the owner of Carville Nature Farm, Jay. Anong ginawa mo nung nangyari yung pandemic? Eh, mukhang lumakas lalo yung farm mo, yung demand ng products. Um, yeah, in terms of demand, lumakas yung demand sa mga seafoods kasi um, we're, we're raising bangos and shrimps here. Aside from the, the organic farm that we have here, we, we plant chilies and other vegetables here in the farm. But um, since the start of the pandemic, so parang uh, my wife and I were caught uh, flat po- flat-footed. Eh. So hindi namin expected na it's gonna be this long, it's gonna be this hard. Kaya lang, um, um, we have to be strong. Ang ginawa namin, and, and um, we talked about it, we we laid down some plans on what to do. Kasi iniisip namin yung mga workers namin and other other businesses. Aside from the farm kasi, we have other businesses uh, elsewhere. We have a uh, food cart business and uh, um, hotel in Boracay. So we have to take care of that as well. So... During the the lockdown, um, I I cannot. Sometimes you find it funny, kasi kasi. Um, like slim down kami, kasi we don't have any anyone to rely to. Just to every 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 work in the household and in the, in the office, we have to do it by ourselves. So, pumayat kami kawawalis. In 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 other words, <laughs> we have to do everything by ourselves. Eh. Pero enjoy siya. Uh, at the same time, kasama mo family mo. Inta kami lahat. So, um, that's the, that was the time na talagang hindi kami umaalis, magkakasama kami. And uh, ano lang, kumbaga, tuloy lang yung laban kahit mahirap. Maraming mga difficulties talaga, maraming hurdles. Pero 
Tuloy lang, huwag lang susuko talaga. That's it. All right. Thank you Jay for that fighters uh whoa, warriors mentality, no? Tsaka nakakapaya talaga 'yung pagwawalis pala, no? <laughs> yes, <sure>. sir. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> okay. So thank you for that uh for sharing your uh ano, mental uh, uh makeup in uh, uh coping with this current uh condition. Mamaya naman pag-usapan natin 'yung in panel tayo yung mga negosyo nyo, kung paano nyo ginagawa. Pero right now, we'll give the floor to Mon Marinas to present his Fibot or current uh, company na naasikaso. Take the floor, Mon. The floor is yours. Thank you, Sir Orly. And good morning again to all our listeners. Sana po ma-inspire kayo sa presentation na gagawin ng bawat isa sa amin. So sa akin po, Nagsimula ako for over eight years. So there's my presentation. I'm the owner of Bienvenido Tours for eight years. I established that company in 2012. And um, I'm caught uh, unaware na this, uh, this year magtatayo ulit ako ng panibagong negosyo. So in 2012, uh, I put up my own company to promote the city of Antipolo in the province of Rizal as a prime tourist destination. We're also the marketing arm of Loreland Group with properties including Loreland Farm Resort, Lulhetas Hanging Gardens and Spa, and Camtipolo Adventureland. And all these properties were uh, closed due to the pandemic. And for over six months, counting to six months now, uh, kasi pwede daw kaming mag-open ang mga tourist establishments during MGCQ. So hindi pa natin alam kung kailan tayo makakapag-open lalo-lalo na yung mga resorts and leisure destinations. And uh, for uh, for almost five to six years, I would participate in the Philippine Travel Mart every year since 2015. And then for over, uh, uh, on a weekly basis, we assist about 200 guests in our partner properties here in Antipolo. And I used to have six full-time staff operating daily to coordinate reservations and booking. So ito po yung buhay ko pre-pandemic. Uh, napaghandaan natin yung mga iba't ibang calamities, for example, yung mga uh, uh, natural calamities like uh, tal volcano eruption. Aware tayo na, mag, na posibleng magkaroon ng mga ganong klaseng calamities. Pero yung pandemic, parang hindi tayo na-prepare dito. Kaya for over two months, uh, nag-iisip kami uh, tingin ko baka makabalik pa naman kasi during quarantine, in, sinasabi naman na, o oh, sige, for two weeks lang yan, 30 days, and then umabot na ng 60 days. And then sabi ko parang hindi tayo nag improve dito, no? And then nag-isip na talaga ako end of May. Uh, I, I can still remember na nag-register ako online sa DPI na kailangan na talagang uh, mag-put up ng new business. Not only to help me have another source of income but also to help me mentally kasi tama yung sinabi kanina ng mga fellow entrepreneurs ko na dapat tayo mga entrepreneurs kasi hindi pwedeng nakat, nasa bahay lang tayo eh na wala tayong ginagawa kaya nag-isip din talaga ako ng paraan kung paano rin ako uh, magiging busy and then in uh, June 2020 ngayon mga 60 days pa lang yung company ko I put up Mon Marie Consumer Goods Trading Naisip ko na ito yung importante ngayon, uh, I would focus on essential products and yung mga essential products ko katulad ng mga cleaning items. So totally different talaga from what I used to do na kung dati puro tours, travel and leisure ngayon, I'm uh, selling cleaning products. So naisip ko bakit naman cleaning products and uh, essential items? Dahil na na realize ko rin after talking to my friends and uh, after watching a lot of webinars from Rise Up na uh, kailangan na nating mag-pivot and mag-isip talaga. We need to take action on uh, what we can do with our current situation. So sa ngayon, I'm engaged in sourcing and delivery of essential products that are affordable and good quality. So tamang-tama, meron akong uh, very good friend dito sa Antipolo na manufacturer ng mga cleaning items, mga uh, detergent products. Uh, Doon ako nagsimula sa mga cleaning items na yon. 
And ngayon, ang target ko rin yung mga institutional buyers who can benefit from our wholesale price. So ito yung mga product lines namin. We have hand wash, all-purpose liquid, powder detergent, fabric conditioner, car wash, tire black, papaya soap, dog shampoo, alcohol, bleach, UVC sterilizer. Nag-umpisa lang muna ako sa five products, pero naghanap pa ako ng mga additional items na essential to all our buyers. Kaya unti-unti, in 60 days na I've been running the business, nadagdagdagan po yung mga products namin. And I'm still looking for more products to be included in our business. And so for for now, we have sold over 40 UVC sterilizers to various establishments in hospitals, stores, offices, and homes. Uh, Ito yung UVC sterilizer na ginagamit sa mga clinics, lalong lalo na ng mga doctors, uh, to disinfect their offices and clinics. Ito yung one of the easiest ways para uh, maging virus-free yung mga uh, establishments natin. So, nagkaroon din ako ng partner dito, if not for the help of my fellow travel agent na deeply affected then by the pandemic. Uh, tamang-tama. Kaya very important yung friendship natin to our colleagues in the industry kasi kayo-kayo rin na magtutulungan talaga. If not for your relationship and friendship to your uh, colleagues in the industry, hindi rin naman magiging possible na makapag-put up din ako ng bagong negosyo katulad nito. So, uh, sabi ko sa isang friend ko na uh, distributor or siya yung may hawak ng warehouse dito sa Quezon City, ako ngayon yung distributor niya dito sa Rizal area. So, uh, aside from cleaning products, nagsimula din kami dyan sa UVC sterilizers. And then, ang message ko lang for everyone, uh, I have five A's to tell everyone. I know this is very hard, but we really need to accept hard realities. Uh, kung iniisip natin in one to two months, makakabangon tayo and parang hindi pa tayo nag-improve, huwag tayong mawawala ng pag-asa kasi hindi tayo nag-iisa. Okay? We're not alone. We need to accept hard realities. Hindi man natin na napaghandaan, pero nandyan na yan, kailangan nating tanggapin ang katotohanan. Okay? And then second A, adapt to changes. We need to get out of our comfort zones. Kung before, sanay tayong nagta-travel, sanay tayo kung saan-saan tayo nakakarating, uh, para bang ang gamit natin nakaimpaki lang, we live in our suitcase. So we need to adapt to changes kasi uh, we're living in a new norm. Hindi tayo pwedeng basa-basa makapagbiyahe. So we need to adapt to changes. No? Kailangan natin tanggapin to at uh, uh, mag-adapt, kumbaga. And another thing, third A, as an entrepreneur, actually hindi talaga to tinuturo kasi minsan innate na lang talaga to sa, sa atin. Always look for opportunities. Kahit na pa pandemia, meron pong opportunities. Not in a bad way, but opportunities in a good way. So, ano yung opportunities na to? So kung hindi okay ang travel industry for this period of time, there, there will always be an opportunity for other things or for, for another industry. So in my part, consumer goods trading. So malaking change siya, ba, from travel industry to consumer goods trading. Dati, napaka, uh, parang masabi mo, luxurious ang trabaho mo, pero ngayon, nagbebenta ako ng mga cleaning products. And hindi siya nakakahiya kasi... Uh, I'm answering number four, answering and filling up the needs. So, ayan, kailangan po yan. And pang lima, katulad po nitong nang ginagawa natin dito sa business marketplace, always ask for help. So, tam-tama itong business marketplace natin, yung mga forum katulad ng Rise Up, always ask for help. Kapag ka merong mga opportunities for you to join uh, webinars, join kasi pwede kayong magtanong doon and doon yun marirealize na Hindi ka nag-iisa, and you can always ask for help to your friends. Yan po. And for my uh, company, I have my Facebook page, email address. If you need to reach out to me, I, I also have my mobile number and contact numbers in landline. So that's Mon Marie Consumer Goods Trading. Maraming salamat po. All right. Thank you, Mon. Uh... Question number one, doon sa mga interesadong mag-inquire sa yung produkto, 
Uh, do you also, parang di ba, ikaw ang nag-wholesale ka ba? Yes, sir. Wholesaler po ako ng mga products. And then, uh, ang target ko rin yung mga institutional buyers and yung mga resellers. So, para magkaroon din ng opportunity yung mga kaibigan natin or yung mga interesado na magnegosyo, pwede kong ipasa sa kanila at a reasonable rate. So, uh, direct from the factory ko nakukuha yung mga items, I need to get a big volume of uh, purchases para makukuha ko on a, in a lower amount. And then, pinapasa ko rin yung savings sa kanila. So, aside from direct ako dun sa mga consumers, ang hinahanap ko rin talaga is yung mga yung mga interested din talaga magnegosyo kasi marami talaga, marami mga nawalan ng hanap buhay ngayon uh, unemployed so ito yung best way for them to have another source of income is to resell cleaning or uh, essential items katulad ko dito ano yung pinakamabiling product mo na eh, talagang uh, ang lakas ng demand niya ang uh, best seller sa akin dito yung uh, all purpose liquid detergent Ito yung ginagamit natin for dishwashing and then ginagamit din siya for laundry. Kahit ako dito, um, siguro for one month, uh, nakakaubos ako ng one gallon of uh, all-purpose liquid detergent. So, ito po yung ginagamit ng... Uh, kilala na rin yung brand na Bright Excel. And ito yung... Uh, naka, mas nakakasave sila dito. Whereas if they buy in a liter or yung mga nakapak, mas maliit na item, kapag uh, gallon size ang purchase nila, mas, uh, mas malaki yung savings. So, ganun din po yung ginagawa ko para makapag-deliver ako sa mga customers. I ask them to buy in the gallon size para mas mahaba po yung supply. And yung delivery fee, uh, usually kasi ginagamit ko yung mga delivery apps, mga mot- naka-motorbike. So, uh, ang capacity sa motorbike is 4 gallons in one motorbike. So, mas mura siya in terms of delivery and mas marami ng items na nakalagay doon sa isang package. All right. Last question before I let you go. Uh, what makes your product better than your competition? I'm after quality and uh, afford- affordable uh, price range of my products. So, lahat ngayon nagtitipid. We're not really particular about the brand. Although yung brand ko, uh, confident ako dito kasi we've been in the business. The brand has been there in the business for over 20 years. Pero mas mura siya, mas affordable. Lalong-lalo na po ngayon na uh, kailangan natin kasi yung mas uh, makakatipid tayo sa panahon ngayon. Yeah. And quality. Yeah. Oh. Alright, so affordability and quality. Thank you, Mon. And Thank later you. ulit, kwentuhan ulit tayo with the uh, other group. Tsaka... Of course, naalala ko yung, ano mo, yung traveling tour agency mo. Sikat na sikat yun. I always frequent sa people. Nakikita ko yung mga... <laughs> nakikita ko palagi yung... Uh, masyado kang dominant sa space na yun, sa area na yan. Okay? Yes. Okay. So, kami, ay, hopefully so we... Yes. Pamaya, uh, kwento pa tayo. But at this juncture, let's call our next uh, guest. Uh, the owner of Take Smarter Collection. Uh, again, let's call Jop Solas. Hello, Jock. Hello, good morning again. Uh, Orly to all of the audience. So, ayun, maganda yung, ano, yung kay Mon kanina. No? Alright. So, where's up? <laughs> kasi ito yung, in, in, yung story about the tourism. Um, ako kasi, since 2009, I started in the hotel industry. From the hotel chains of Intercon to Best Western to the Manila Hotel. And now, yun nga, yung pinaka-recent ko is introducing the City Hotel, which we started in City Hotel Boracay Station 1. So, iba yung challenge because we already know what's happening or what had happened in the Boracay because of the yung mga environmental awareness. But siguro, it, it's, it's a good point as well to just siguro show you the next page of the slide uh, to give you, an, uh, you know, a visual of the property. So, yun tayo sa next slide. Yan. Kasi, um, we have a slogan that we created. Oh, Joff, how can you introduce a property that is very optimistic? And um, given the free hand, I said, of course, let's carry whatever the, the vision of the owners are. And yung gusto nilang i-emphasize, kasi nga, because of the, you know, what Boracay has been through, is dapat lagi daw masaya, more reasons to smile. So, I said, okay. So let's come up with more reasons to smile, which is happy every day. So now we have to 
come up with more creative means. But at the same time, kami, we have to understand yung DOT and uh, also the DNR protocols in terms of sustainable tourism. So, siguro, it's a one good way wherein tourism was able to create a uh, sort of preparations leading to this is because we have to understand na parang hindi kailangan masyadong crowded na isang area para lang ma-appreciate, di ba? So sometimes people go to a destination because they wanted to a time for themselves, they wanted to feel more secured. And siguro, this is also a good preparation leading to the new normal because this is more of a experience talaga siya. So we created that kind of message wherein we wanted to make everybody feel good about it. Lalo na ngayon, di ba, we are, there are certain challenges on how to communicate uh, you know, the, the experience of traveling, yung destination to, uh, you know, going to a destination. So ngayon, uh, we have to go through, uh, we are, have to wait for the IATF policies in terms of traveling, the bus secure, uh, yung mga tratawag natin travel passes. So hopefully, uh, yun nga sabi nga ni Mon, when uh, MGCQ will now be implemented to various places, lalo na doon sa mga international and domestic airports, then probably we could proceed with that. But as of the moment, the property is closed just because we have to understand, kasi lalo na uh, introductory pa lang naman kami. So we have to wait for, for more momentum and then reach out to the employees once more. So the next slide naman of what I'm also going through, because... Ako kasi, um, uh, Oily, you've mentioned earlier that you've probably met me in the iBlog Summit because I've been also into the digital and, uh, you know, um, even the marketing since mga earlier than 2004. So uh, with that, we came up with the 2017, the Commercial Central in Clark, Pampanga, which is a tourism destination now where we are promoting one town one product so because particularly the central luzon has you know has a very good access from the ncr tapos meron pa dyan mga airports and then there's an upcoming airport as well na bago sa bulacan so we are looking at more opportunities and you know uh, improving the the area of the province of pampanga so we came up, so nakikita nyo, I'm, uh, we, created, we created a particular food traffic na umaabot kami ng mga 17 to 25,000 per night. So it's a weekend destination in Clark, wherein we promote the local products. So we coordinated with the DOT of Central Luzon, um, tapos together with the DTI as well, because we promote the local products. Tapos one thing that, we, uh, that I was able to appreciate there is yung story that I have to do research about how a product eh, eh, was made by certain communities in that area. So naging malalim yung understanding uh, ko doon just because of that. And uh, what I've been doing for the group, for the Commercial Central, is to come up with uh, communications, particularly online digital, para mag-reach doon sa mga crowd. So... Yeah, and luckily, we were able to get good food traffic in that area since 2017. But again, just because of the pandemic, we also have to uh, wait for IATF policies in terms of the uh, crowd uh, gathering events. So it's closed. Then the next slide, which also shows you naman in, to, to our, uh, my project with the health and wellness. So we created a particular brand which is called the Fitness Army. Na Ito yung ane, uh, we wanted, ang, ang tagline namin is armed to win your battles because we believe that there are certain reasons for people to be, you know, uh, to be physically fit. Hindi lang kasi uh, kailangan visually because some people go through the process of wellness because there is a, a better or further reason for them to be healthy, such as for their families, for their children, um, also for the community that they wanted to belong to. Kaya nga, no nagkaroon ng taal eruptions uh, taal eruption uh, the team went to Batangas in order to distribute then sabi ko namin um, if you're really a physically fit person dapat magagamit mo yung physical attributes mo to something that is good so that is somehow the core of the 
of the fitness of a brand. And uh, so far, we have two branches, which is the in BGC, and then second is in, supposedly, ito na abutang kami ng lockdown, is in West Ave and Quezon City. So, maganda yung facilities. It's big, but as you all already know, hindi pa rin pwede ang, uh, ang gym. So, that probably leads to another project that I'm doing now. Doon tayo sa next slide natin, which is yung mga current products or projects that I'm doing in order to still offer yung mga ongoing, yung mga previous projects ko. So, yan. Alam mo naman tayo during the lockdown, marami tayong katulad nga ng sinabi ni Mon, everybody's adjusting, we keep on thinking, we have attended a lot of webinars, yung mga certifications ng DOT, thank you to that, um, also to the DTI, tapos yung mga international webinars as well because gusto natin malaman how are other countries that are adopting um, and then also on how we, kumbaga the best practices can be adopted locally. So, in connection doon sa concept of Commercial Central and Clark and Pampanga, since we have our connect, uh, you know, our relationship with uh, the LGUs and uh, the DTI as well, minsan may mga local products tayong nakikita. Uh, at ang maganda nga dito sa online is that they are given the chance to be introduced to a larger market, lalo na online. Uh, siguro yung mga SMEs kasi, this is the best opportunity, no? Uh, the best opportune time for you guys to tap local market, lalo na sa NCR, yung bringing your products to the Manila. So you have to deal with logistics, but at the same time, optimize your presence online. So since I've been coming from the PR and marketing, so I do the branding, I tap my relationship with the creatives, kaya meron ako mga, yung as simple as a honey, a local pure honey, sabi ko nga, oh, nakita ko lang siya actually sa isang uh, palengke. When I, do, when I was doing a grocery. And then, na-post ko lang siya sa social media ko. Then, a person and a friend of mine contacted me and asked kung paano daw niya makukuha yon. So, good, it started from there. And then, what I did, sige, um, I reached out, tinraise ko yung, ano, yung mismong producer, yung farm. And then, nalaman ko yung story pala ng mga local farmers natin. Of course, they're also struggling. They have the logistics. Tapos, problem din nila is because they cannot sell it. So I think this is uh, more of a a good way for us to introduce yung mga buy local. Kasi ang dami nating sinasabi na buy local pero hindi natin masyadong binibigyan ng emphasis. So during the quarantine, I think it's the best time and uh, what I've been doing is really exerting a lot of effort for that. So I created a page which is this Think Smarter Collections and then from there I I already highlight products coming from other regions, yung mga local fabrics, yung mga local delicacies as well. Tapos when we create, when we gather a lot of enough orders, then we bring them to Manila. Um, in particular, I tap my connections, lalo na sa mga retail outlets or restaurants who are still open in Manila. Uh, even the quarantine nga is ongoing. So we ask them to distribute. So ayun, at nakakatulong pa kasi uh, what I do, eh, yung mga retail outlets, I also promote them uh, in the condition. Siyempre, if kumbaga, parang give and take yan, uh, they allow you to place your products but at the same time, they uh, they become the parang pick-up points kasi nandyan parang naman si Lala Move, yung mga other delivery services. And uh, doon ko ginagamit yung, yung initiative and yung network natin na to promote local products coming from the provinces. So, thank you for that. Now, the next slide is about, diba nasa health and wellness ako dun sa fitness army. So, what I came up is an idea that everybody's now into health consciousness. Diba? Parang, uy, ano ba? Ano nangyayari tukol sa uh, virus? Ano bang update? So, instead of us dwelling so much on the numbers, it's about time for people to be more conscious of what are they doing exactly in their bodies. Since lahat tayo ngayon personalized na, nagluluto na, I myself has been cooking. Uh, I thank all, all of my chefs that I've been, that I've met kasi I was able to understand. Kasi hindi man talaga ako nagluluto, pero salamat sa YouTube, lalo, lalo na sa mga chefs na kaibigan natin, uh, nakikita ko on how it's being done. 
And I know that at, during this time of lockdown and quarantine, hindi lang ako nag-iisa. Marami tayong mga members sa hotels na natututo na rin magluto. But at the same time, they have to understand, is it healthy? Is it something that you could really take? Um, I come from a family of medical practitioners, doctors. And what I do is that, bakit ganun, no? Pag clinic, tapos sa mga pharmaceuticals, mabilis maubos ang kanilang mga inventory. So sabi ko, baka there's something going on. Uh, tapos yung fitness natin, na pag iiwanan People are saying, ah, kasi sarado pa naman ang gym. So they will just like, oh, sige, kakain muna ako. Nasira na yung diet nila. Uh, pero kasi we don't know how until when itong lockdown na to. And until when the gyms will remain to be closed. Pero at this moment, what we could do is set packages and guidelines, assemble a team of doctors and fitness coaches to assist them. Tapos, at the same time, meron din access sila sa mga supplements and vitamins and even to vaccination. So we offer yung mga flu and anti-pneumonia vaccines, pero through a mobile clinic. So it's set by appointment only. Um, ngayon, for fitness coaches and medical consultations, we do it purely online. Kasi lalo na ngayon, ang daming fake news. So you always have to consider, sino ba ang source mo ng right information? So yung doctors ngayon, we really adore them, we admire them because they're like heroes. So kailangan, mabigyan din ng emphasis, mabigyan din sila ng voice. Pagdating sa consultation of health, kailangan sila din ang go-to mo. So anything that's health-related, that's why the general fitness is... Uh, now created and made available online. So I just really started all of these pages recently. Pero all of the initiatives kasi for the past few months, ginagawa ko na kasi siya. Sabi ko, oh, ginagawa ko na siya. So gagawin ko lang naman siya is mag-create lang ako ng portal or social media pages. Tapos ilalagay ko na doon. So aayusin ko lang. And this is the third uh, project na all this time that I've been doing. Kasi... Before I entered the hotel, before I started the commercial central, at alam nga na, na some of you, I've been into the iBlog Summit many times. So, ang na-emphasize ko doon is the digital. Uh, I've been a member of the Internet Mobile Marketing Association of the Philippines, IMAP. I'm a CDM, certi Certified Digital Marketer. Hindi ko lang kasi siya masyado emphasize into a general perspective kasi I've been handling brands that, like I mentioned since 2009 but I maintained a page which is the Joe Solas as I know as my blog page you visit my my website as well which is www.jovesolas.com and you'll see other PR related uh, you know even uh, news entertainment as well pero I wanted to dwell deep deeper into the you know sensibilities of people to give them as well an aspect of learning lalo na sa marketing and digital so since i've been associated with the medical i've been promoting initiatives into yeah, you know, from the the thoughts and notions medical clinic uh, medical uh, incorporated the clinics as well as the doctors and then i also emphasize yung mga other entertainment aspect ko so for the past few months alam mo if you if you are into Spotify and also into podcasts, I created my, my podcast and Spotify playlist kasi in order to help people to manage yung experiences nila. Siguro for every month, I come up with a playlist para lang magkaroon ng, uh, you know, people on how to manage their anxiety and even depression. So with those portals that I have, yung uh, Think Smarter Collections, which is to, to highlight the local products, the general fitness, for for health and wellness and medical. Tapos yung, yung aking personal, which is the Joe Solis blog, is for me to create and impart more you know uh, lessons that we are having or we are receiving during the, the lockdown or quarantine. So these three projects that I'm doing right now, ano siya, everything is really done online. So... Para sa akin, it's, it, everything is connected. Uh, ayusin mo lang naman yung mga portals. And then we just have to create consistent communication. Um, why? Because we don't know until when will this last. But definitely, there are spaces online that people could go para malaman nila yung mga information. And then eventually, we still help 
our communities, lalo na pag emphasize ng buy local products, lalo ni sustainable tourism, and being environment uh, aware. So, yun. That's all. All right. Napaka-busy pala ni Jock ngayong uh, panahon ng ano ng uh, pandemia. Jock, uh, you mentioned earlier about uh, creating a story, di ba? So, you are a marketing. I, I also teach marketing in some of the schools and yun talaga yung favorite na subject matter natin. Oh. Uh, why is brand story important sa mga brands, sa mga products? Yes. Uh, kasi you know what? People can easily sell products. Yes, Jock. Why is uh, storytelling or brand storytelling important para maging successful in brands? Sige. Yes. Thank you for that, Orly. Um, kasi first and foremost, people can already see the product. Visual na yan eh. So the logo, the aesthetics, it's easy. Pero kasi what does the product mean to you? as a seller and what does it mean to the to the consumers and we already have learned yung tinatawag nating brand value we have to create a particular message that would linger yung talagang mananariwa doon sa kanilang uh, kaisipan at lalo na sa kanilang emosyon di ba kasi lalo na Filipinos we are very emotional uh, once we convey a story on how a product is being harvested or let's say how a product is being created, lalo na malalaman nila, oy, local product pala to, di ba, Orly? Sabi nga, ako nga, I used to buy imported products sa Fanny from Australia, New Zealand. Pero nung nalaman ko na there's a product pala coming from Quezon, sabi ko, what does this thing differ from them? Eh ito, mas local na, mas raw pa, speaking of ingredients, mas pure. Kukumpare mo siya doon sa international na makikita mo ang daming nakalagay na ingredients. Just because siguro maganda yung advertising and communications nila. And I see that's something that is lacking in the in the local products. And because we're noble, diba? our farmers are noble, our communities producing the textile are noble. Uh, I learned all of these things just because of the DOT that I've been going through other places together with the Tourism Promotions Board. Now, when I visit a particular region and they tell me, Jock, this is how the textile is being done. Tapos sabi ko, bakit hindi ito alam ng tao? Bakit hindi ito uh, naiintindihan na ito ay part ng kultura? Na ito pala ay mayroong story. Diba? So, if only a story All right, mukhang uh, uh, naghang ang uh, si Jock. But uh, uh, Jock will uh, continue our discussion. Uh, we'll uh, call our next guest. And again, thank you, Jock, for your sharing. Mamaya palalimin pa natin yung gusto kasi importante sa mga SME. Mayroon tayong capacity to... Uh, kasi ang Jock, yan. Are you okay, Jock? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Uh, Jok, isang tanong ko. Kasi para magkaroon brand story, di ba kailangan mag-research? Yun yung next kong question eh. O SME kami, wala kami budget. Maliit kami kumpanya. Gusto namin yung brand story. Ano yung pwede namin gawin para ma-improve yung communication namin? O ano yung parang murang paraan para mag-create ng story? Sa tingin Ayan. mo. Kasi yun yung problema talaga ng mga ano eh. Mm. Uh, Orly, di ba? Sabi ko kasi vlogger din ako. So, I really investigate uh, I, I really go to the source kung sino yung gumagawa. O are, yung nagluluto ng kakanin o yung farmer himself or herself. Kausapin mo sila. Uh, come up dahil marami namang tayong gadgets. Video mo. Kasi nga TikTok oily, we could already tell stories eh. Lalo na everybody's like looking into that. Tapos, kasi ako rin, um, you could just come up with the content. Well, uh, tapos yung platform mo, kung ano man ang pwede mong gamitin, whether it's Instagram, YouTube, Facebook page, or TikTok, pwede yan. So, ang importante lang talaga, go to the source. Talk to them, take photos, take videos, pero dapat may consent nila ha. Huwag yung nang-stalk ka lang, tapos di nila alam. 
Tapos wag ka din gagawa ng, ng story na hindi totoo kasi it's a matter of credibility as well. So dapat fact-check. Alright. Thank you, Joe. Mamaya, kwentuhan pa tayo with us. Uh, thank you for that uh, very enriching uh, presentation. Uh, now we'll call uh, our next uh, guest, uh, co-founder ng paabot.ph, Kobe Sarian. Kobe, straight from his car, inside his car. <laughs> Kobe, are you, you're muted. Can you unmute? There All right, go. Kobe, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you. Straight from the car. Take it away, Kobe. Okay, so backstory. Um, later, I'll be, we'll be showing this slide. I'm the co-founder also of this hiking company, Trail Adventures. Gumagawa kami ng hikes, we organize hikes around the Philippines from Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, Palawan, any mountain you see, from Mount Apo, Mount Halcon, di ba? Ang dami mountains sa Rizal, one knows about that, um, among others. But aside from that, gumagawa rin kami ng hikes outside the Philippines. We do hikes in Morocco, in Africa, in Europe, in Australia, among others. So technically, we started 2010. Um, if you ask bakit, I, I think, ano, um, talagang mahal na mahal ko na umakyat. I started hiking when I was 8 years old. So talagang, I would say, nasa dugo ko, nasa dugo ko na yung pag-akyat. Um, for 2000, before the pandemic happened, we have around, I think, 60 active guides. Kasi we do scheduled hikes. I- ibig sabihin, every weekend, Saturday, Sunday, we do hikes. But aside from that, we also do private hikes. Um, kahit any day, weekday, any mountain. Uh, so, so that's basically what we do. Our motto is share life outdoors. So technically, ano ba sabihin nun? Share, syempre, there's a lot in the mountains that can change you. Um, alam ko medyo gas-gas na, pero talagang iba yung beauty ng bundok. Um, our goal is when a person climbs a mountain, when he goes down, in a way, parang nagbago siya. There's more awareness, there's more love, mas na-appreciate niya, no? ang, ganda, ang ganda pala talaga ng Pilipinas. And actually, we get that a lot pag nag-guide kami. I'm also a guide. Pag umakit kami, naririnig namin, ibang kasama namin, parang, wow, ang ganda naman dito. Para kang wala sa Pilipinas. Pero in reality, maganda talaga sa Pilipinas. So when people hike mountains and really see our beautiful forest, the, talk to the locals and really learn from them, talagang masabi nila na, uy, mas mamahalin ko yung Pilipinas because of this. So, um, life, definitely, iba ang buhay eh. Um, ako, I've been hiking mountains around the Philippines. For some of them, paminsan, pabalik-balik na. Pag tinanong ako, isa sa planet pinakasikat na bundok sa Pilipinas is, of course, in Luzon, Mount Pulag, the second highest mountain in the Philippines. And, ah, the third highest mountain in the Philippines and the highest mountain in Luzon. Pag tinatanong ako, ilan na kailang beses ka na ba umakit dito? Hindi ko na mabilang. But if I, I count it, siguro mga 70 times na, ganun karami. Pero, if you tell me, akit tayo ng bundok, let's say Mount Pulag ulit, definitely, kung libre ako, I'll be there. Kasi every hike, every experience is totally different. And the beauty that we saw, the love that we have for the mountains, we want to share it. Um, iba, iba ang bundok. If I can only, it's hard sometimes to explain gano ka life-changing ang pagkakyat. I'm so just tell them, tara, akit tayo. Okay, so what we do also for, is of course promote responsible outdoor adventure. We're, I, I, I would say we're the first hiking company in the business when we were when we started in 2010. Before that, when you want to hike a mountain, marami kang pagdadaanan. And you need to join an org, you have to do under, oh, undergo all this training, all, all this, you know, um, jogging. And which is okay. Definitely, that's a great preparation. However, paminsan, some people would be discouraged. Simula pa lang, ayaw mo na umakit, nakakapagod naman, dami mong kailangan gawin. So on our end, we prepare everything. Um, sumama ka lang, just pay a certain amount, and we'll handle everything for you to experience the mountain. And then from there, malaman mo kung gusto mo ba umakit ng mountains and to push it forward. So definitely, we want to promote responsible outdoor adventure in a sense na when you go to the mountains, bisita ka lang. Okay, you don't own the mountains and you're just there as a visitor. Um, as I, I think there's a next slide. 
there. So the co-founders, my older brother, Guido Sarial, um, more than 70 na yan, and I did more than 150 mount- unique mountains in the Philippines. So we're the co-founder of this company. We both started hiking at a very young age, and there's a lot that we want to share when it comes to hiking in the Philippines and mountain in general. Next slide, please. There. So the mission is to share life outdoors. With the people that we go, that we bring to the mountain, we want to share that beautiful, lovely, and really, really enriching experience. Next slide. With the community. Definitely a while ago, you were talking about stories. Para sa amin, ang bundok is, is hindi lang about views, hindi lang siya about a photo being posted in Instagram or Facebook, or maybe even doing a video on TikTok. A mountain is really, when you talk to the locals, there's a life-changing learning, lesson, there's a change that will happen. And the thing about hiking, hindi lang, yun nga, like what I said, hindi lang siya photos. When you talk to the locals, to your guides, we empower guides na guide kayo. Kasi paminsan when you talk to them, sinasabi lang nila, medyo, they're not very confident. Ang sinasabi nila, guide lang naman ako. And we want to really change that na you're a guide. You have a very strong power, a very strong influence. Really, you know, you have a great story to really share. And that story, when a person hikes a mountain, talagang a, sim- a story as simple as like, as like dyan ako na naglalaro ng bata ako eh. Let's say there's a river, nadradaan lang natin. Ang sabihin nung bata, alam mo ba dati may isda dito, dito ko naliligo, kasama ko yung mag- nanay ko. Those kind of stories, very simple, but it's very enriching. And really, when we bring back to the community, we do projects like One Book Project. We do One Book Project, ito yung, for some of the mountains, we do we collect, we collect books from our participants and donate and partner with other groups to make libraries. As, that's one of our other products that we do. Next slide is... The mission is to share life outdoors. Sharing life outdoors with the environment. Definitely. Sa hiking, may hiking creed na tinatawag kami based na leave no trace principle and we really practice that. Ibig sabihin, technically, is when you go to the mountain, treat it, treat it with respect. Respect the mountain. Respect the locals. Respect the community as you respect yourself. So, yun. Um, that's basically... Hey, what's, what's the next slide pala niyan? <laughs> yun. So, that's basically trail adventures. And when the pandemic happened, everything stopped. Our operations stop. Um, what we did actually when the pandemic happened, we stayed in touch with the local communities of different mountains. Kasi iba yung connection namin with them. Talagang na, kumbaga, it was malaking, I think I'm, I'm quite emotional when it comes to local people. Na talagang we want to be part of them in terms of growing up. They learn from us, we learn from them. So when the pandemic happened, one of the activities we did was to really talk to them and kamustahin sila. And sadly, like every one of us, talagang they got really hit hard na kulang yung kinakain nila, na nahirapan sila since wala. A lot of them turned into tourism as their livelihood. So what we did, we collected funds from our participants, we bought bigas, and we donated it to them. Kahit papaano, I know it's a very little thing, Pero kahit paano, at least, you know, uh, makakatulong yun. <laughs> so, one of the things I started with ma- with a very good friend of mine. He's uh, also a guide in, tra- in trail adventures. His name is Matt Balmeo. Nag-usap kami about, you know, um, ano ba pwede natin gawin ngayon? Um, bakante tayo. And then, we remember that when we went to Banawe, we were talking to this old lady. And then, sanabi niya, na ito, the tradition and practices are slowly fading because the younger generation lacks interest in doing their work. She was referring to the rice terraces. When you go to Banawe, everyone's doing their hotel, their I mean their homestay, everyone's building tourism. But the main highlight actually is the rice terraces, which is a sira na. Nawawala siya. Either erosion, magkakaroon na landslide, and you know, not very... And di ganun karaming tao ang gusto mong ayusin yun. Kasi napakahirap ng trabaho na hindi ka naman kumikita. And then, so we forgot about, in a way, life went on. And then naisip namin na, uy, 
um, apparently Matt, Matt, Balbe, Matt Balmeo, it's my partner, because of that line, pumasok sa isip niya na, uy, ganito rin sa pagkain sa Pilipinas. We have a very rich tradition and culture when it comes to food na hindi natin alam. Na for example, when you go to Bicol, um, there's a, pag, may pagkain silang zinagan, not all Bicolano knows it. So, bakit ba't ganun? Ang alam lang natin would be, of course, adobo, sinigang, di ba? Which is sobrang sarap, di ba? Na napaparami ka ng kanin. Just talking about food, nagugutom ka na. And ibang klase ang food sa Philippines. Very diverse, very unique. For, for, for every province you go to, sometimes it's really hard to explain in one meal, ano, ano ang, pili, ang pagkain Pilipino. So going back to the story, there's a lot of traditional food na nakakalimutan na, na hindi, kasi hindi ko na-practice. So parang, yun yung idea namin. Uy, what if we treat your idea, this is actually his idea, into mountains? What I mean is, sinasabi natin, protect the mountains, di ba? Alagaan natin, sira na yung bundok natin, linisin natin, and all that. But what, the things you cannot see, the things you cannot experience, how can you protect it? So sa bundok, ganun. Experience it. <clears throat> there will be awareness. But when it comes to awareness, curiosity, you will like it, you will love it, then you'll be protecting it. So, so same thing when it comes to food. More than pakain tayo ng masarap na pagkain, the focus is really, hey, experience the food, be curious about it, in a way, nagka-travel ka na sa lugar na yun. Then after that, eventually, you know, you'll be curious about the tradition and culture of the place, and then you'll be loving it. And eventually, we protect each other cultures and tradition. So that's one of the goals of Paabot. Paabot? Bakit Paabot? Um, definitely one of the main words na lagi natin sinasabi pag kumakain tayo. Kobe, Paabot ng kanin. Kobe, Paabot ng ulam. Diba? But more than that, it's also Paabot. It's really continuing the tradition and culture of the Filipino heritage, especially food. So um, what we do is, every week, we do two meals. Uh, we do two meals every week. Unique, traditional dish na hindi mainstream. Um, bakit dalawa lang? Kasi we do a lot of research. We do a lot of preparation. For example, when, when we cook zinagan, the Bicol, Bicol delicacy in terms of Bopis plus Bicol Express, we talk to people from Bicol. Uy, para ba gawin to? Ano ba lasa nito? They'll be explaining it to us. At times, may meron talagang tika doon sa probation na yun, nagagawin niya, papakita niya sa amin. And then, titikman namin, eh, yung, hindi ako magaling magluto. I know how to cook basic, pero yung partner ko, si Matt Balmeo, he's really gifted when it comes to cooking. And he's also a traveler and a hiker na titikman niya lang, alam niya na kagad kung paano gawin. When we go hiking mountains, bahala na. Very small place, very limited equipment and gear, pero kaya niya magkare-kare, kaya niya. Anything, kaya kaya niya gawin. So he's really gifted when it comes to food, and he really loves what he's doing. So perfect, perfect, I think perfect to match kami when it comes to paabot. And so there, we do a lot of research, a lot of what can we do, what are available. Like for example, at when we did Dining Deng, one of, one of the things about Dining Deng is, it's from Ilocos, is that the vegetables it really needs to be fresh. Na talagang galing sa, kung pwede galing sa likod ng bahay mo. So we partner with a farm in Ilocos, Tiraoka. They have organic vegetables. So we partnered with them. Um, of course, may mga, along the way, because of these dishes, may mga challenges. Like for example, last, we should be doing venes. That's, I would ex- describe it like the laing of batanes. Wherein you use dried stock ng gabi wala kang mabilhan, and if you explain it to the market, hindi nila kayang gawin, kasi umuulan na ngayon. So, parang magpapatayo. I remember, we tried magpatayo ng ganun. After one week, ang dami namin gabi, lumit siya, nag-shrink siya ng sobrang liit. So, there are challenges like that na nakakatawa, but then, it's really about, you know, okay, kung hindi pwede yan, let's do another dish, let's do a dish from Lanao del Norte. We check it, and then we talk to people from there with our contacts, na iba iba na natikman na namin karamihan and then we talk to the to the, our contacts if how they prepare it and eventually actually one of the goals is really people from the provinces sa marunong magluto na nasa Metro Manila 
is to you know partner partner with them and really share their story. Talking about story, it's really ano eh, ibang kwento eh, de ba? Talagang aside sa pagkain gila lang, ang kwento talagang utak kaluluwa lahat kina matatamaan yon. And you really love the food you're eating. So one of the goals is really to partner with people in Metro Manila na based sa provinces. Like for example, eto si Maria. Eto yung niluto ng lola ko eh, nung bata pa ako. Oh, sige, let us talk about that food. So, ano bang, ano bang pagkain na yan? Eventually, share it. So it's like the people traveling around the Philippines through food. The photo that's Zinaga, and then on the right, of course, medyo sikat na yan, Humba ng Visayas. Ayan. Very beautiful photos from people that we, you know, we work with. <laughs> so that's Paabot. There's a lot of things we're, work, we're working on. Hindi siya madali. Uh, but then, the thing is, we love it. Pag nagluluto kami, nag-enjoy kami. I'm learning a lot. Kahit, kahit ako, ako lang taga, taga ano, hati ng patatas. Sige, okay to. I'm learning a lot, especially with Matt and people who are working with us as well. That's Kinagtad na Baka. And then the other side is Zinagan. Tinatad na baka, I love it kasi yung pampaasim niya, they use kamyas. So I remember yung kamyas na yan, the story was, I was biking, ang hirap makahanap ng kamyas sa normal market eh. When I was biking, biglang, uy, may kamyas! Tawag ko kay Matmat, pwede na tayong mag- magtinatad na baka, may source na ako ng kamyas. So mga ganong kwenta. It's really fun, we're really ex- and we're enjoying what we're doing. But more than that, I love the advocacy part of it. And... We'll see how it goes. Um, we're still learning along the way. First time ko mag-delve into the food business, usually magulat ang mga ibang tao ba't ako nag-delve in the, into the food business kung lahat sa akin masarap. When I eat, basta may sili, basta maanghang masarap. But now, ibang klase yung world of food and I'm really admiring and learning and really appreciating it even more. Lalo yung pagkain sa Pilipinas. So I, I also want to, you know, have people join me as we explore the Philippines through food. There. <laughs> so, you can follow us paabot.ph in Instagram and paabot in Facebook. We do deliveries every Wednesday and Sunday. So, t- tomorrow, we are doing Baka Tulasog from Davao. All right. So another Salamat Kobe. Ah, Pares tayo, may likaw sili. Anything, basta may sili, okay na tayo. Yes. 'Di ba? Kahit ang pagkain, kahit medyo sira nga, eh basta may sili. Oh. Ano na 'to? Ano na 'yon? Talo-talo na 'yon. Mas yung iba nagugulat eh. Kanin lang, tsaka sili kinakain ko kasi. So nagugulat sila. So, ha, ah, 'yung ula mo, okay na. Okay na. Oo, oh, inihiwa-hiwa ko lang 'yung sili. But uh agree. Eh. At the same time, talagang uh, una, masarap yung ano mo. Ano yung feeling kaya nung mahilig ka umakyat? Ako, mountaineer din ako eh. Pulag. The best yeah. talaga ang pulag. Yes, yeah. yes. So, ang, ang, ang point nun is, ano yung, nung nakulong ka, bawal lumabas, di ba? So, anong, hindi yes. ka ba nalungkot na hindi ka nakakyat? Ng, weekly ba umakyat kayo? Yes, every week, lagi ako umakyat. This year, medyo naglilo kasi I'm doing other activities. But before, I spend more time in the mountains kasi sa city. To the point na pag nasa city ako matagal, para ako nagkakasakit. <laughs> so yun. Ngayon, nalungkot, definitely. Pero ano ba magagawa nun? Ito yung kasal- kasalukuyan. What can we do about it? <laughs> in paabot, ano yung mga, lahat ba ng regions uh, pinipicture mo as yung food offering mo? Or select region pa lang so far? So what what we do is, we want to kasi maraming distinctions in terms of availability ng mga supply. That's one. Second, kung kaya ba, natin gaw- kaya ba namin gawin? Kasi baka sobrang exotic. Naku, hindi pa natin kaya gawin yan. Third is, ano ba yung food na in a way ma... Kasi we want to take it step by step before we go to the extreme na para insecto. Doon muna tayo sa mga appreciate ng tao na mapafamilarize sila sa sarili nila. So there's, there's a lot of barrier. But definitely we want to cover kung kaya buong Pilipinas, we want to do that. So, one step at a time. <laughs> Another question. Meron tayo dyan, di ba, sa, sa, is it Kainta or di ba meron tayong exotic restaurant doon? Tapos mm. may mga ibang, may like sa pang, 
Pampanga, marami rin ganyan nag-o-offer. Yes, marami. So, marami. my question is, what differentiate pa about from those uh, other establishment na nauna? Ano yung uh, distinct story or unique value proposition ng paabot compared to those other uh, food uh, offering para kalinya nyo? Yeah. Well, I think to begin with, lahat naman tayo in terms of the food industry, especially people who are offering exotic and unique food na we're happy that everyone's really empowering people na ito yung pagkain sa Pilipinas, ito yung pagkain sa Pilipinas. In a way, us, what we want to happen is the whole Philippines, we want to explore the Philippines one food at a time. Let's say, for example, we want to go to, to Palawan. Uy, ano, I've been to Palawan. I love Palawan. So with the, the food that we deliver, there's a touch of us being travelers, being, you know, us loving the Philippines, na, uy, ganito siya, oh. But at the same time, we explain to the people who would, ex- who would experience the food a background. So we put, there's a paper, we tell them, aning Davao, for example? Oh, aning Bicol? Aning Zinagan? At the explanation yan. So for them, it's also about learning. It can be history, there's a trivia, or a, a story about the place, among others. It's really the feeling, what you want is to have that feeling that when you eat, yung paabot, it's like you're traveling at the comfort of your home. All right, mamaya, magkwento ba tayo? Uh, yes, but we we'll welcome now. Salamat. Uh, I can feel your passion and happy to see a really true-blooded mountaineer. I love mountains talaga. So mamaya, kwento ba tayo with other guests? Tawagin natin ngayon si uh, Sir Jay Carpio, owner ng Carville Nature Farm. Sir Jay, the floor is yours. We'd love to hear your Hi, story. Hi, good morning to everybody. Thank you, Orly. Thank you. Thank you for. Thank you also for the other uh, um, co-presenters. Uh, very inspiring ang story ng lahat. So I hope everybody was who's watching right now uh, would get uh, a lot from them. And um, to start with, um, um, Carville Nature Farm. We started this w- when we attended the. Uh, that's my wife. Um, when we started attending seminars regarding farming. So we were looking for uh, things to do aside from our usual business. So we went back to our uh, property in Sambales and started developing it. And uh, later on, we found out that uh, farming is really an enjoyable thing. We, we cannot really explain how, how fulfilling it is every time we go here the first destination we go to in the farm is the Nipa area, the Sasahan, where we collect the vinegars, etc. Every time we go there, we always uh, feel this uh, sense of fulfillment. That we're always at peace when we're inside that, uh, that place. So my wife and I always talk about it. Why not we build something here? Why not we build um, agritourism? It's, it's, it's like we are pre- preparing our retirement. So... Even when in, we are in our 40s right now, we are really preparing for a something that would uh, relax us uh, in our days to come. So when, when our head is filled with the gray hair, we would just uh, be around here uh, enjoying the farm. And uh, the, the reason also for, um, for trying to engage in agritourism is to share what we have here, to share with the people, to share what, to share what we can just to share what we feel, because there is really a joy in farming. Um, like yung nag-uusap ng wife ko, I, I, I told her, sabi ko, parang yung pagpa-farming, it makes us more human. Kasi you're close to nature, you're close to God, you're doing things that are really uh, enjoyable and fulfilling. Aside from, aside from the perks na na lahat ng mga itatanim mo, makakain mo, fresh talaga. So, ang sarap eh. So, uh, aside from aside from the farm, um, we also operate other businesses. But uh, what happened during the pandemic is uh, everything uh, was in halt. So, affected kami lahat. Even itong aming beloved farm, we cannot go here because we are staying in Bulacan. So, um, to go here is about six hours tops. So, there are um, restrictions going here since the lockdown. So we, we've been uh, restricted going here. Maybe we have, we've been here about 
four or five times since the lockdown and uh, we can only stay here for less than 24 hours otherwise we will be put in a uh, center where all the uh, the outsiders uh, would go so um uh, farming for us is really is really enjoyable kaya naisip namin yung magkaroon ng ng farm tourism na na, na business in the future so what what you saw in the slide was the sasahan can you can you go back on the slide please um the sasahan where we are planning to put up uh, villas um there that's the sasahan the, the 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 vegetation there the lush green vegetation we are planning to put up villas there where what we will call tinago because it will be situated in the middle of the lush uh, green nipa trees so it's a very relaxing place. Uh, I hope everybody have experienced it. Um, it's, a, it's really, really nice. So uh, going to the other uh, businesses that we had, uh, that, that we still have, and right now they're, they're closed, uh, we have been greatly affected by the pandemic. So what we did was to, to open up our, uh, our kitchen because uh, we are also engaged in... Uh, in food cart business as well as in tourism business in Boracay. We operate food cart businesses in malls. Uh, the brand is Potato Madness French Fries. Aside from that, we we had an um, upcoming opening of our Wings and Wedges concept in SM Baliwag. But unfortunately, the, the plan was cut short due to, due to the pandemic. And uh, the, the, the thing that we developed was the... Uh, was can, can you go forward for the slide, please? Um, the thing that we developed was the big kitchen creates. So it is uh, my my wife's and I idea to create something new. Uh, the, this one is the the first product that we had here in the farm, which is we are very very lucky to have a lot of uh, natural suka here, the nipa palm suka. It's a very very nice, and we we uh, developed it into a, a condiment like that, cooking it with some spices. And uh, this is one of our best sellers right now in Manila. Uh, there is one one family that orders a hundred bottles just for their consumption. They they don't resell it just for them. So that's what I've been mention about mentioning about. Can you go forward? And uh, these are the other uh, brands that we have. Um, they're still operational, but uh, some of the branches are closed right now. Can you move forward? Thank you. No, there, this is the, our upcoming uh, concept, uh, rap culture. It got halted also because of the pandemic. And this is our, uh, we are part owners of this hotel in Boracay, Station 3. So this one uh, is also closed at the, at the moment because of the pandemic. And uh, luckily, um, even if uh, things uh, are, are this bad right now, we have thought of something to continue the livelihood as well as to continue the employment of our people, we created things, we created food products with a big kitchen. Big ki we name it the Big Kitchen Creates because uh, this kitchen is uh, um, the personal kitchen of my wife where she develops uh, food for our food, co food concepts and food businesses. So um, the things that we created here are, the, the first things that we created is this one, this is Sambangus. This concept is a, uh, it's like an informal restaurant where in the future we would uh, also go into franchising with this, and it's a uh, it's a very promising uh, concept wherein well, we would use all our harvest here in the farm because we also grow bangus and shrimp, and uh, the the customers will be guaranteed that the fresh freshness of the products would be definitely good because this is our own harvest. At the same time, the plan is to to also buy the other produce of our. Uh, farmers here, the neighboring farms, and uh, we would uh, process them for what we need in the in the restaurant as well. Can you go, move forward? Thank you. Uh, this is our marinated bangus. Uh, next one is, uh, this is the smoked bangus. Um, at first, we didn't, uh, we didn't know that this would be a hit. We just tried a few pieces of uh, bangus to be, to made into smoked bangus, tinapa, and uh, we were surprised by the volume of orders we, we got. So after a week, we, we fabricated our own uh, smoker. So just to cope up with the demand. Aside, aside from this product, we also do the uh, 
can move forward. Thank you. The tinapang bangus, the gourmet tinapang bangus in oil. This is one of our best sellers right now. My my wife also made this, and uh, it is it's very it's very good on pasta or just a plain topping on rice. Next, please. Next. Oh, um, right now we are concentrating also on on making this um, longanisa series because we have thought of uh, adding more products to the current lineup. And uh, the longanisa, uh, this is what we have thought, thought about, and, uh, and, it, and it went well as well. Um, we have the gar spicy garlic longanisa. Can you move forward? Thank you. Uh, there's the, that's the packaging. We have, can you move forward? Thank you. It's a spicy garlic longanisa, one of our best sellers as well. And uh, we are very thankful for the uh, resellers that we have right now. Because uh, our products are are also available in other provinces, in Laguna, Cavite. So this is one thing that we had thought about to continue the employment of other people, our, our employee. Um, this is our Lukban Longanisa. All of the, the Longanisa that you see here are our um, version of the current uh, Longanisa Lukban and vegan. And this is our uh, product lineup. We have the chili garlic sauce the longanisa, the gourmet uh, tinapain oil, and the, the variants of uh, sweet and spiced vinegar from, from our farm. Came forward, thank you. And right now, uh, among our best seller is our packed uh, sisig, frozen sisig, and it's packed in 500 grams, and which is really, really a good seller. And there, we are planning to, to introduce, um, because, uh, in our community, there's sometimes uh, people uh, ordering food in other in other places. So we have thought about uh, making a delivery, putting it in a in a in a in a bento box in a in a container like that to have it delivered. And at the same time, uh, this uh, business can also be a business of other people because we're targeting communities. Uh, it's very difficult sometimes to secure food from a, a from a store, especially during lockdowns. So what what we are planning to do is to to establish something like the Zambangos is to make it a community based uh, it's a, some kind of a restaurant, but it's an informal informal setup. What you need to have is just a plain what you have in the kitchen, the plain uh, utensils and what what have you, and uh, a clean garage would do. So it's a very promising uh, concept, uh, which you can employ uh, uh, another delivery service like motorcycles. It, it, it can increase your sales. Can you move forward? There, there's some of our products. Oh, then the name did appear. Okay. Um, oh, there. There's a taxi log. Can you move forward? Thank you. We have lots of products to to offer. We are currently developing more of uh, the traditional ones. And right now, we are in the farm. Uh, this afternoon, we're about to collect the dampalit. Uh, the dampalit is a traditional uh, condiment being used in other, other places, especially in Bulacan, where uh, the dampalit is not available anymore because other, other fish ponds and other uh, uh, areas near the shore and near the near the river are being converted into something else. So right now we have an abundance of dampalit here in in Zambales, and uh, we're we're very excited to go home probably on Monday to have it uh, have it uh, cooked and have it uh, put in a in a jar for us to offer to our our sellers as well. So the big kitchen creates. Uh, really would uh, target uh, um, uh, other other businesses like other it, it will it will provide business opportunities for other people and uh, the the things that we experienced during the lockdown are really really uh, uh, there are things that are you would uh, sorry Okay. Sorry, sorry. That's it. That's it. All right. Jay, ginutom ka. Talaga, sir? Uh, 
Gutom kami, sabi nga ni Sam Monte. Oo. Oh, yeah. uh, tapos ngayon ko lang na yung mga brands mo, ngayon ko lang siya honestly narinig. Uh, friend ko yung sa mga AFI. Are you a member of AFI? Oh, hindi pa. Uh, we are a member of, uh, with the Rudolf Kotick, the Archie franchise. Ah, kay Kotick. Oh, okay, Archie. Alright. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I know. Mm-hmm. Yes. So dun, 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 we, we used to have so we have to have brand, a brand brand mga bago brands to, ah. and, um, no early uh, potato mad started 2003 and uh, we we had uh, 100 branch, branches before but uh, due to the restrictions of most in cooking so we were we were transferred to the food court area we're in you know the space is very very uh, small and we can they cannot accommodate two concepts at the same time so we decided in to operate in other uh, the secondary malls and in the provinces uh question uh, among the brands that you have jay ano yung pinaka mo oh right now closer uh, to your since- heart among the brands that you have, dahil mong different uh, offerings, what's the, what's the one closest to your heart? Actually, the farm. The farm. Farm yung favorite namin eh. It's, a, it's, it's our happy place. It's a place where we can really relax talaga and uh, do the things na hindi namin ginagawa before. And at the same time, I, I, I don't know. It, there's a sense of fulfillment every time we're here. Is there's a sense of peace every time we're here. So yun yung gusto namin share. That's why we wanted to open up this this farm into an agritourism. Uh, but the the plan really was into put into stop right now because of the pandemic. So yun the farm farm is our favorite uh, among All the right. concepts that we have. Thank you, Jay. Uh, right now, at this Junker, tawagin natin yung mga ibang uh, guests natin. Yes, nawala yata si uh, Kobe. Anyway, question ko, guys. Right now, among your current business, can you share one particular strategy na ginagamit nyo in making in that contributes to the success of your business, current business? Start natin kay Job. Job, one, wow. one primary strategy na ginagamit mo na talaga alam mo, uh, makakatulong sa ibang uh, businesses pag ginamit nila yun because it is effective in your business. Uh, work within your resources. Yun yun. Whatever is accessible within your reach, what, uh, who are the people within your network. Yun. So start with that. Alright. How about how about you, Mon? Yes, tama din yung sinabi ni Joff. I would say uh, keep your relationships intact especially with people in the travel industry. Sila rin yung pwedeng makatulong sa'yo. And uh, uh, pare-pare tayo na sa same situation ngayon, kayo rin mismo ang pwedeng mag-network, magtulungan. Yeah. Of course, last but not least, Jay, uh, what's your... Sa so, dayo mong pinapatapong yeah. business? Yes. Be, be yes, innovative. Be innovative. Be innovative and uh, creative. So, yung kasi kami ng wife ko, pag nag-create kami ng brand, so we team up talaga eh. So, siya yung nag-create ng sa food. And uh, ako naman yung sa designing and graphics. Since uh, that's my profession before, I was a graphics designer. And uh, kaya kami nakadevelop ng mga products. And uh, nagulat nga yung ibang nakausap namin dahil Pabilis daw namin nagawa after nung pandemic, nakakreate na kami ng... When the pandemic started, nakakreate na kami ng another livelihood. Kobe, uh, while you're away, uh, tinanong ko sila, yeah. ano yung main uh, primary strategy na ginagamit mo right now sa Pabot para maging successful siya? Can you share it to us? Um, I think on my end, when we started, it's really about what why we're doing it. So kami, we really, we became strong on the brand na, oy, let's, since everyone's at home, people can't go out of their houses, cannot travel. 
let's make them travel through food. So I think that's one of our main strategy. Into what what food will we serve? Ano ba prepare natin? What kind of research? How do we take care of all that? I think it's really much dependent on why we're doing it. All right. At this point, guys, ah, uh, kayo naman na. Uh, meron ba kayong gustong tanungin sa kapwa guest nyo? At sino yun? Kobe start natin. Kung may tatanungin ka, isa lang na tao sa tatlong guest na kasama mo. Sini na tanungin mo, tapos ano yung tanong mo, you can ask right now. Okay. Siguro, I, I'm interested kay Jay or Jay Carpio kasi you have a farm. I've been wanting to have a farm. Yeah. Man, but yeah. one of my goals in the future to have one and to be sustainable. Yeah. But I also saw na ang dami mong ginagawa with all the food, iba-ibang klaseng brand. Medyo, medyo. I, I, I'm not doing this alone. Uh, my wife is with me. Yes. As, as, ang ganda ng partnership ninyo. Ang dami niyong nagagawa, nakikreate. Mm. Um, in mm. terms of energy, in terms of allotting your time and energy, ano yung pinaka, Sorry. ano yung pinaka, saan ka nakafocus? As, as a, pinaka nakafocus? Uh, right now, kasi with the the big kitchen trades, um, ito yung nakikita namin ano, uh, another fallback All right. uh, after the pandemic. Kasi, we found out na we were surprised by the demand. Kasi people are texting us, um, saying the feedback about the food, the longganisa. They're saying it, wow, the, the taste is really, really good. Sabi nila ang ganun. So we don't know those people. Eh. So coming from them, the comments are really, really um, um, real. Kumbaga, it's uh, authentic, yung kanilang comment. So we really appreciate that. Masipag yung mga resellers namin. So... Um, from Bulacan, nakakarating siya up to Laguna right now. Nice. Yun. All right. Did I answer your question, Jake? Kobe? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> How about you, Jay? Anybody who wants... Ikaw pinaka-busy sa... Actually, at sa ating lima, ikaw pinaka-busy. Uh, sino yung gusto mo tanongin sa huwag ako asa? <laughs> yung tatlong guests na samahan mo among them. You can ask for questions. Actually, uh, actually... Actually, si Kobe, kasi I've been wanting to do hiking. Eh. Yeah, tara. <laughs> so, <laughs> kaya lang is, eh, um, yung yung start ulit eh. So we we cannot do it and we cannot do it as quickly yes. as I want to. Pero I've been I've been wanting to join that. Count me in sa next uh, hiking mo. Okay, I I'm sure after this, all of us are Orly, Jock, Edmond. We'll be in touch and, you know, I'm sure we'll have a lot of things to do. Yeah. Especially the yeah. viewers. Yeah. So oh, yeah. We'll be in any mm-hmm. of us. Yeah. All right. So, we're going to get started. Job, who, who do you want to ask among the three uh, guests that you are with? Okay. Actually, generic to Orly, no? Because we know that we already have pivoted to like a new business or created the new business because of the lockdown. The question ko goes to them is that will you be pursuing this new business of yours even after the pandemic? Can I answer? Can I answer? So yeah, uh, I remember this question was also asked to me if I'm going to pursue the same business even after pandemic. I think uh, I will keep this business because I saw an opportunity here. And uh, since uh, essential products yung focus ko, even during normal days, normal situation, I need essential products. So I think there is still an opportunity during that time and I will keep this business. Yeah. Thanks, Mon. Si yeah. Jeff, I'll, I'll go next. On yes, my probably. end, we will see. Because um, right now, I'm not really sticking myself to a certain brand. Siguro parang, I'm also open. Uh, after this, let's see if... Because we want to do a lot of things. But of course, we need focus. Isa lang tayo, eh, di ba? It's more on really delegating. Or we'll, we'll see at how it goes. Because even on my end, I think I'm going to ibang agenda, ibang activities, or ibang businesses. So, I'm really taking step by step. By step. I'm really, siguro parang sinasabi ko, I'm listening to myself, kung nasan yung excitement, nasan yung energy, and really go with it. Pero, ang dami kasi pwedeng gawin eh, di ba? Mm-hmm. <laughs> At kailangan mag-focus. So, yun. How about ikaw, Joff? 
Um, well, what's your plan? Ay, well, basically, dahil sabi ko nga kanina, ang nagiging focus kasi siya mismong main common denominator ng lahat ng efforts ko is really into the branding and uh, PR marketing. So, kasi sabi ko, at marami ng tao kasing brilliant, no? They come up with a lot of ideas. Yes. But the thing is, it's really the matter, it's it's the messaging. The messaging and the promotions on how your product will reach the target market. Mm-hmm. So, yun. So, I think that's where I'll focus. Since yung ginagawa ko may mga portals ko nga, it's really to to complement yung mga efforts ng mga SMEs din natin. I see, yeah. So if if ever bumalik na sa let's say uh, we're in we can go out again. And if I mention yeah. I I don't may hirap sabihin na normal normal eh. I'm sure there's there will be a huge change, diba? Um in terms of time and energy, will you be allotting more to what you're doing now or to what you were doing before? Actually, this is exactly what I think will be more of my focus. Kasi it's really more of uh, kasi parang feeling ko, oh nga no dito kasi Kobe, may wala akong problema, problema na spoilage. Wala akong <laughs> problema na inventory. Tsaka yung exposure. Kasi what I just do, parang nasa gitna ako, I, I come up with a middleman. And then I help this businesses na to reach, for example, yung, uh, to tap uh, restaurants or retail outlets. Tapos eventually tap customers. I see. <laughs> Ang galing, galing. Um, I have a question, if you don't mind. Mon, ikaw, um, I know you're in Rizal area, di ba? And then you have a travel business. So right now, when it gets back to normal, let's say in, in a normal in a sense how people can travel again, people can visit your beautiful province. Um, how, how do you do that? Because di ba, having one business is challenging enough. What more yeah. can you say about the two? I mean, how will you juggle both of that? Uh, we'll see when we get there, but for now, <laughs> oh, kasi sa ngayon, hindi pa rin naman din talaga natin na uh, sigurado kung uh, yung confidence ng public to travel will be recovered in one year or in two years. So, uh, uh, I'm hoping for the best, but I'm also preparing for the worst. And think ko sa ngayon, uh, ito yung uh, business na tumatakbo sa akin ngayon, yung consumer goods trading. Kaya dito na lang din muna ako pwede mag-focus. And then, sa resort naman, because we're also in partnership with the resort here in Antipolo, uh, if ever we're allowed to open during MGCQ, we will only be allowed at uh, 50% of our capacity. So, hindi rin siya sustainable kapag uh, nag-open kami at MGCQ. So, dapat meron pa rin uh, other source of uh, income. And dito ko nakikita yung consumer goods trading. Kaya, let's hope and really pray na makapag, makarecover tayo anytime soon. Hindi, hindi rin kasi talaga natin masabi kung abutin ba tayo ng one year. Nung oh, una, o oh, nung isip, <laughs> inisip natin uh, one month or two months tapos na to. Hi, Orly. <laughs> Hello, guys. I'm sorry. Sa ano na, Pilipinas, sa internet, uh, yes. you know, <laughs> but uh, luckily, there's a redundancy. Uh, I, but I, w- I was able to listen to your uh, discussion. Uh, my next uh, question, the last question, because I know it's overtime, but I have no problem with the overtime because I learned that from all of you guys. Tapos, marami gusto maging reseller. Sabi ni Job muna, paalala ko lang, Job wanted to get all of your contact numbers and brand to post niya sa blog niya. Again, Job is an influencer. I know Job. Uh, speaker yan sa iVlog. Pag naging speaker ka sa iVlog, ibig sabihin, um, thank you, Job. one of the influencers. Thank you, na thank you. I guess, thank the you. three of you guys. Job, sama ko na rin yung ano, ah, yung sa akin, ha? Ah. Of course. <laughs> of course, <laughs> Orly. Para post. But, uh, last question from you, from the four of you. Kung uh, kanina, nabanggit nyo na naman, kung, pero kung meron kayong iiwan ng isang uh, uh, wisdom or nugget of wisdom sa mga nakikinig, uh, what will that be in this current situation uh, at ang perspective as being an entrepreneur or being a person wanting to uh, overcome this current uh, situation? Uh, unahin natin sa pinakabata, di ko alam si pinakabata, no? pero unahin natin si Kobe. 
Feeling ko yun yung pinakabata. Kobe, <laughs> the adventurer. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm 31 years old. <laughs> may, may edad. Um, well, one of the things really is, if you start a business, I, I think everyone will agree, you really have to ask yourself, bakit ba ito ginagawa? Kasi there will, there, there will be your ups, there will be your downs. Maraming bagay, laging down, pupuyat ka, mapapagod ka, paminsan, pinisip mo, worth it pa ba yung ginagawa ko. So, if you start it, you really ask your why. And more than that, huwag ka masyado mag-settle ng matagal sa why. Na baka, lagi, lagi ka nagtatanong, lagi ka nagguguluhan, na hindi mo na nasimulan. Diba? If you do the first step, eventually, you know, you'll be learning from there. Next step, next step. Keep on moving, keep on moving. And definitely, you know, Talk to yourself. Be honest with yourself. All right. Thank you. Our next is Mon. Uh, advice to everyone. Know that you are not alone in this journey. No? Very important na malaman ng lahat na uh, to be reassured na may kasama kayo, may kaagapay kayo. Pare-pareho tayong nasa same situation. Ito yung mga kailangan natin eh, mga encouraging words, mga inspiring words. This is the reason why we're doing this business marketplace. We're sharing our stories to each other because we need to lift each other up and to be encouraged by our stories. So, uh, katulad nung na-mention ko rin kanina, when we started, thank you to Rise Up for having me and to business marketplace and sana huwag kayong magsawa na pagpatuloy po yung mga ganitong mga discussion and forum dahil hindi nyo alam sa 100 na nakikinig may isa or may dalawa kayong ma-influence dyan, malaking bagay na yun at kailangan talaga natin lahat na uh, mag, uh, mag-share ng mga stories natin yes. All right. Thank you Thank you Juan Job? Uh, okay, ako, thank you again uh, to my co-panelists, Kobe, Mon, Jay, Orly, thank you to Rise Up in Business Marketplace with good business and uh, entrepreneurship. Um, first is that clear your mind. Kasi hindi ka pwedeng magulo at maging masyadong maraming iniisip, nagkakaroon ka ng stress, it's not going to be a very productive session for you to come up with business plan. Second, do what is really within your reach. Kasi kung accessible lahat yung mga bagay sa'yo, mas less ang stress mo. Then third, is announce it to the world. When I say announce it to the world, because, you know, sometimes kasi, um, it's easier for us to sell our products to, to, to strangers rather those people who are near us or who are familiar of us. Kasi lalo ng iba ba doon, nadyajahi ako because hindi ito yung dati kong ginagawa. So, again, along the way, lalo na with the power of internet and social media, minsan yung mga taong hindi mo kilala, yung pala yung mga pwede mo maging yung source mo ng raw materials, yun pala. So that's why you just have to announce it. Because at the end of the day, you want yourself to be searched, to be found, para magkaroon ng, ano, ng all of these things to, to be executed. All right, spoken by a, a true blue digital marketer, ba? Search, eh. alagang uh, digital expert at digital expert at marketing. And last but not the least, yung pinaka busy sa atin at saka daming brands. Jay, what can you say to our uh, aspiring or, and... Or Lee, uh, you started with the younger one, so ibig sabihin ako yung pinaka matanda. Hindi naman. <laughs> Ako pinamatanda. <laughs> Kita ba sa buhok? <laughs> no, um, Jay, Jay um, ano sabi mo? Masabi ko lang kasi. Uh, yeah. Jay, sabi mo kasi kanina, uh, gusto namin ng farm, tapos galang sana para pagpumuti na yung buhok namin ng wife ko, uh, doon kami mag Sabi ko, Uh-oh. hindi ko makita yung buhok ni Jay. <laughs> Joke lang yun. Sige, Jay. Uh, <laughs> Wala na eh. <laughs> <laughs> Yan, uh, the only thing I can say is, uh, sa mga viewers natin right now is to, to um, really wag, ano, wag, wag susuko. Wag susuko. Kasi um, we know how difficult it is. Pero if we would stop, you, you would not continue the journey. Eh. Kasi at the end of this uh, pandemic, there's a, there's a better opportunity for all of us. So wag lang tayong susuko talaga. And learn to appreciate all the people that are giving you giving you help 
just a tap on the shoulder means a lot. So, so our my co-panelists right now, I'm giving you a tap on the shoulder. It means assurance that everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. In lang. Wow, ang sarap, ang sarap to. Okay. Jay, full of wisdom yun. Hindi ko alam. Ako pinakamatanda pero sobrang dami na wisdom na yan. And uh, guys, uh, my apologies, nag-overtime tayo pero hopefully okay lang sa inyo. And ako, okay lang sa akin kasi I learned a lot. And bago tayo mag-end, gusto ko lang sabihin na nakikinig din pala from Inner Wheel Club o Bandi Polo Central. So, grupo ng mga kababaihan. So, it's this show is being streamed from different uh, Facebook pages ng Rotary and Inner Will and other association. Again, thank you kay Chek, kay Jan, kay Clarissa, at saka kay Harold from Rise Up uh, Philippines Tourism, one of the uh, most active uh, groups in our industry, sa tourism industry. And sila rin yung sa mga reason I take credit for having that 10 billion, uh, you know, issue na approve natin na uh, hindi naging inter infrastructure. So thank you to sa inyo guys. And muli, ito na naman isang episode ng Business Marketplace. And doon sa mga gusto mag-reseller, marami naging inquire. Uh, it will be posted. Sana check, i-post sa Rise Up Tourism. We'll also post in our different groups. Also visit Jok's blog. Jok, pag ano ulit yung blog mo para kung sakasakali, doon nakapost yung mga contact? Yeah, joksolas.com Alright, so yan, yeah, ang So, in our pages, in Jokes, and Rise Up, it will be posted. So, yung mga gusto mag-reseller, tawagan nyo lang po itong mga taong to. Uh, definitely, they will help you. And hopefully, we can uh, sabay-sabay tayo umakit, gaya ni Jay. Tap natin si Kobe, tapos akit tayo kasama yung Rise Up. Pulag ulit, pulag ulit, December, no? O kaya January. Yeah. Alright, thank you very much, guys. And this ends our show. God bless, stay safe, see you soon, face to face. Mabuhay kayong lahat. Salamat po. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, thank you so much, Sir Arlie. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Check.